In an increasingly connected world, critical networks and infrastructures are at risk from an army of intruders, both foreign and domestic. There is an ever-growing demand for IT professionals who have the training and the expertise to protect and maintain these critical networks and keep them operational. More colleges and universities are putting more resources into and focusing their curriculum on information assurance education. In 2004, a group of industry professionals and educators came together to establish a gaming model that would allow teams from different universities and colleges to compete on a level playing field. It was through this collaboration that the National Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition was born. The University of Texas at San Antonio Center for Infrastructure Assurance and Security hosts the competition, which is held annually in San Antonio and is designed to immerse students in a real-world environment. The reason we started the National Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition was uh, twofold. First of all, uh, for over a decade, the nation has needed more cybersecurity professionals and we just simply weren't producing them. Individuals in this career field who enter cybersecurity as a career field or information assurance are at the forefront in this nation uh, in protecting the national infrastructure, those critical infrastructures that keep the nation running. For NCCDC is really an important aspect of what we do in information security. We have the opportunity to see the next generation of the practitioners here in San Antonio. We have a chance to evaluate them in, in pretty close to a real world environment. And for us who have come up through the ranks, we can very quickly in the course of a weekend identify who the real superstars are going to be. NCCDC takes place over three days and is the first competition to focus on the operational aspects of managing and protecting an existing commercial network infrastructure. Teams qualify for the NCCDC by competing in and winning regional competitions held across the U.S. This year's competition required the teams to serve as administrators for a fictional correctional institute. The teams earn points by keeping up with the operational needs of the jail and user demands while maintaining service level agreements for all of their critical internet services. We do try to design the competition so that it incorporates as many real world elements as possible. So one of the things that we do every year is we pick a small business environment that we're going to emulate for the competition. What we did is we modeled a small prison. So we had a prison management system, we had prisoner data, we had a conference area with the purchases, we had um, visitors that could come in, we had visitor logs, help deck system. So the, the systems that we designed, we try to make them as realistic as possible, so it's something that uh, we can build a lot of interesting scenarios about, but it also gives students some real world experience touching systems that they may see in the real world, touching problems that they may see, having to implement and work with solutions that actually exist out there rather than making it something up completely from scratch. The multifaceted competition requires teams to perform everyday operational activities as well as interact and serve their customers represented by the Orange team, all while protecting their network from red team attacks. I'm David Cowan and I'm the Red Team Captain at National CCDC. Uh, the Red Team at any type of CCDC cadet, and especially at Nationals, is a representation of a real world threat. It's an adversary that is looking to come after the teams uh, and looking to see what kind of damage and information they can steal. We have a great time. Uh, the Red Team always wins is our motto. Ten teams made the trek to San Antonio to compete for the Alamo Cup. This year's field included two-time returning champion, the University of Washington, and last year's runner-up from the Air Force Academy. Uh, this is our fifth year at NCCDC. Um, we won the last two years. We were the winners. This year, each year is different. So there's always something new introduced. The reason we come here is not for the jobs that students from other schools might be looking for, but because we want to compete against the best and go against the National Collegiate Cyber Defense Red Team because we are going to be preparing to defend our nation in cyberspace and so we want to have practice at events like this. The other aspect that we test at CCDC are those business skills, the soft skills that students are going to use every single day that they go out into the real world, whether it's a government job or a business uh, entity that they're working with. We test those skills. Can they communicate with each other? Can they write a policy? Can they review a policy? Can they prepare something that might go up to an upper manager that doesn't understand uh, the technical jargon that might exist at, down at the lower levels. Hi, this is Francine. You were supposed to call me back and reset my password. Hi, so sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, we're still a little bit um, within a bind. We're trying to fix a computer bug in our systems, unfortunately. And so um, we have somebody working on your password reset right now, and it's going to take us a little bit more time, unfortunately. Less than Stress levels are at an all-time high with the red team on the attack and injects beginning to pile up. At CCDC, the red team will be in your box like 
instantly. 15 yeah. minutes into the competition at the latest. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pub slash weblog.php. It's a back door. On everybody. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well done! Yeah. Hey, hey, before you start using it though, generate web traffic. We, our guys found our other start, web, web shell. Right, yeah, start generating random web traffic, make yourself you another it. web backdoor. And they just click the us right away. I walked into this competition, I had like kind of a loose set of plans. I had a little bit of my own wild cards, maybe if you will, when it came to passwords, stuff like that. And uh, it was nice to know that some of those tricks weren't even useful at all because they were in the machine, machine before I was even creating passwords. Struggles and missteps by favorite Washington and the Air Force Academy have opened the door for teams such as Dakota State and Rochester Institute of Technology. The thing that often trips up teams is they lose track of time. Time management is a critical element for CCDC. You have so many things that you're being asked to do, you have to be able to manage your time and your resources effectively. So that's really common for a team to get stuck on something, whether it's uh, a particular system or a service or a particular task we've asked them to do, they'll devote, devote an inordinate amount of resources to that one problem. A program of this magnitude could not be accomplished without the generous support of many sponsors. Over the years, as our sponsors have uh, become more aware of the competition, what the competition means, and the capability of the students, the recruiting side of the competition of the event has grown phenomenally. and. The students now that are coming out of the competition are highly prized individuals. The industry is certainly working with us now. They have recognized um, categorically that people that come out of programs where they've had CCDC experience are better prepared than their peers in most cases. Um, they have the aptitude, they have the interest, they have both the technical and the soft skills. So even as recently as um, this year, we're starting to see posts from corporate recruiters that say, I am looking for students with collegiate cyber defense competition experience. I expect to see this on your resume. I'm looking for this on your resume. We've hired, over the last three years, we've hired 15 uh, of your uh, competitors, 11 the first year and four, four last year. It's a chance to get us to you know, reach out to the really high class uh, hires, uh, some both college level that, and uh, even some experienced hires that end up coming into the teams as graduates. The competition has ended and only one team will walk away with the Alamo Cup all teams have gained valuable experience. These competitions are important because they force the student to think outside of what is taught in class. They give them a real world experience as far as like networks, attacks. I feel that this competition is overall going to help me in the professional level uh, with my careers and stuff like that because I got to talk to professionals. I got to talk to people who do this on a day-to-day -day basis in security. Before NCCDC or before CCDC uh, and regionals as well, didn't know how to do any of this because it's not taught in our classes. This is just something that they learned for the competition and I've heard numerous team members say once and once again over, over and over again that the amount of information they're learning is just enormous and they really, really like it. The 2013 National Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition, uh, the championship team is Rochester Institute of Technology. The team national championship, the Rochester Institute of Technology team. How did they win? One of the great things about that team is they exemplified all of the traits that we really look to exercise and all the skills that we're looking to test in the collegiate cyber defense competition. After taking fourth the past two years, getting first was was nice. Um, but what, as far as what it takes, we all had five minute plans. We practiced sometimes daily, sometimes weekly. We actually all stayed here over spring break and just practiced for multiple hours every day. It's not eight individuals that are playing this game. It's a team of eight that have to come together, they have to communicate, and they have to work as one unit. That's how you win CCDC. And CCDC!